This is Michael Shannon, a deployment architect and developer at Xenos. In this video, we're going to be discussing the field mappings available for extending the Xenos Incident Management Zen Pack. The Xenos Incident Management Zen Pack enables you to open incident tickets in ServiceNow either automatically or manually, transferring the information needed to work the ticket from Xenos into ServiceNow, automatically reducing both the time to open an incident and the possibility of errors. The first step to setting up the integration is to download the certified app from the ServiceNow store. Look for Xenos Incident Management Zen Pack. You'll need to click Contact Seller, which will send the request to Xenos. Once we've approved the or download, you will be able to install in any of your ServiceNow instances. The app adds an import, set, and transform map that we use to create and update incidents. It also adds a properties page that allows you to customize the way the transform map works. And last, it adds a role which give that, gives access to our import set, so you can create a service user with access only to that table. That service user does not need to have access to the UI, so you can lock that down tightly. Once you've installed the application in your instance, you'll see it under the list of installed applications. At this point, your ServiceNow administrator should create a service user with the role provided by this app and give you those credentials. Once you've been provided the ZenPack by Xenos Professional Services, you'll install the ZenPack the same as you would any other ZenPack. Once the ZenPack is finished installing, restart your Xeno services. Once your Xeno system is restarted, you'll need to add a notification to connect to ServiceNow. We've added one right here. I can show you the configuration for it. You're going to want to have it enabled. You're going to want to check Send Clear, and you're going to want to check Send Only on Initial Occurrence. You can optionally subscribe it to a trigger to allow for automatic incident creation. On the next page, you can see with the URL that we're sending it to, we're going to check Use Certified Integration going to put in the credentials to talk to our uh, ServiceNow instance. Um, we'll leave all the rest of this uh, as is. Uh, the field mapping we'll show you in just a minute. That's for sending uh, additional optional data over. And then generally you're going to want to have all of these boxes checked um, except for the last one, hide this notification from the event console. Um, and you're going to want to select the JSON v2 interface. So we're going to test this by sending an, an event that will match the trigger that I set up and go through that notification to become an incident in ServiceNow. We're using the feature in Xenos that lets us send in an event manually just for testing. And you can see that my events come through, and it now has an incident number. If I click on that incident number, I get a new window loaded with, uh, it takes me right into the ServiceNow UI for that incident. Now we're going to extend this uh, integration a little bit to add a custom field. So. We've got a custom incident field that we added just for our testing um, to display a URL that will link back to the event in Xenos. So we're going to we're going to um, send that information over when we create the incident. First thing we need to do is update the um, 
mapping on the Xeno side. So to do that, we're just going to come in here to this field mapping box, and we're going to add in this, this uh, field mapping. Um, don't worry about what goes into that right now. If you if you decide you want to extend it in this way, Xenos Professional Services can help you figure out um, how to construct the Tails expressions that will let you pull out various pieces of information um, to put in there. Uh, this this uh, particular Tails expression um, simply uh, sets up a URL that searches for the event by the the uh, events uh, GUID. Um, and uh, we're going to put that in the custom to field. Okay, so we're going to submit that. Now the second half of this is that we have to finish this mapping on the service now side. So we're going to look for uh, Xenos and we're going to look for this incident management properties page. Uh, we do need to click the, the button to be able to edit the properties on this page. And in this, uh, in the box for the custom to field, we're going to type in the actual field name that we're going to map that uh, URL into. I'm going to go ahead and save that. Okay, and back over to my Xenos event console. I'm going to add a new event in. When I send that event uh, into Xenos, just a second, we'll see the event show up there. Um, and we can see it's already created the incident. If I click that, again, that'll take me into the ServiceNow UI for that uh, incident. I can see I have this new field, event link, that is now filled in. If I click that, that will take me right back to Xenos on that event. And here I could I could close it or I could, or I could un unacknowledge it, whatever I want to do with it. So that's it. You now have uh, a working integration. Um, we're, we're sending events up uh, to create incidents in ServiceNow. We're adding some additional information with those events. Um, and there you go.